Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany, my Malicious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind, so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future. As well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, I do hope that you all are doing well and feeling well. Let's see what's going on. Please give us clear and accurate messages for the overall collective. Okay, so, oh wow. Okay. Okay. So you have two money cards here, okay? You have both the eight of pentacles as well as the nine of coins here, okay? Um, somebody could be getting some type of raise or bonus or advancement or something on their job. Okay, this could be someone getting a new job that pays really good money. Okay, but um, your finances, uh, money, and resources are definitely looking very good. Okay, we also have the seven of sticks here, okay, which would be the seven of wands in a traditional tarot deck. Um, I feel like you are very much determined. Okay. Whatever it whatever work I feel like you're very much determined in the work that you do in your profession, your occupation. You're very much determined to strive towards achievements, uh, to accomplishing goals and um excelling or succeeding in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay. And you're definitely well on your way to doing so. For some of you all, this is a brand new job, okay? For others of you all, this is some type of raise or promotion or something on the job that you currently have. Yeah. You have the Seven of Cups here, okay? Um, so, the Seven of Cups talks about options, decisions, choices, okay? Whomever you are, you have several different options to choose from okay um you can essentially choose the direction you want to go in what you want to do you could it could be possible that you do a multitude of different things here okay um especially for those who are uh, independent contractors or you work for yourself or you have your own small business of some kind okay but spirit is saying that you are very determined you have several options uh, different options to choose from okay because each one of those cups are filled with something, something different, okay? So those, the, the, that's an example of all the different options that you have here, okay? Well, yeah, we have the six of knives here, okay? So this is a six of swords in a traditional tarot deck. So this talks about relief. It talks about hope. It talks about um, you moving forward, um, moving to calmer water even, okay? moving on in some type of way this could even be you moving on up in some type of way okay spare what else is going on here So we have the six of coins here. This is sitting under the eight of coins. Whatever it is that you do for work, your occupation, your career, your profession, you could be receiving. Well, first of all, the six of coins talks about um, giving and receiving. Okay. So rather you, you could be someone who's very gracious, who's very giving. You could give back. Um in some charitable type of way or something like that but you could also be receiving things as well the energy goes either way okay it's a giving receiving type of energy okay but the it, it talks about a gift of generosity okay um through help through support through um charity however it comes through you do donation however it comes to you okay so um those uh, some of you may see uh, you may start getting more support or more generosity 
or um, donations or gifts or this could even be um, customers or something on the job that you do okay so say for instance that um, you provide some type of service okay this could be um, you getting bonuses or tips from people this also could be um, a person's donating to you investing in you this could come in many different ways shape forms or fashions okay or this could be persons who um, is supporting the work that you do in some type of way or your business okay yeah we have the six of six here okay so this talks about success triumph victory public recognition in some type of way okay um, this is sitting right up under the nine of coins so you're definitely going to be making a whole lot more money than what you currently were making okay you have both the six of coins here the eight of coins as well as the nine of coins okay So we have the Ace of Swords here, okay? The, well, this says the Ace of Blades, but it's the Ace of Swords in the traditional tarot deck. So Spirit is saying that what I'm telling you is the truth and clarity here, okay? Um, the Ace of Swords also speaks to some type of victory, okay? So I definitely feel like continue to stay determined as um, to what it is that you do, okay? Because you're getting some type of victory, okay? You could also speak some type of truth or clarity, okay? We have the temperance card here. So, of course, they tempered. That temperance card, it speaks of balance. It speaks of patience, okay? Um, it speaks to uh, things that's pure, that's kind, that's lovely, okay? Um, you could be a star seed, an indigo, an earth angel, an angelic being, a chosen one, okay? But that temperance energy, is just it carries a lot of different energy with it. You're in this energy here, and you have several different options to choose from, Spirit is saying as to how you want to move forward or what it is that you want to do exactly okay we have the sun here so this talks about happiness abundance new beginnings fulfillments fresh starts second chances in life okay a peace of mind the sun brings with it um such good energy is like the best card that you can get one of the best cards in the terms of energy is the best card you can get in the tarot Okay, because it's happiness, it's abundance, it's brand new beginnings, it's fulfillment. Um, okay, but you are in this energy, this happening, this happiness, abundant fulfillment, empowered type of energy as you are moving forward in some type of way, um, as you are moving up in some type of way. Okay, as you come into some type of hope or relief of some kind. Okay yeah high priestess at the bottom of the deck okay i feel like you hold some type of truth or clarity you know truth or clarity or um you can know sacred knowledge secret information occultic knowledge here um the high priestess is highly intuitive okay um a high priestess can be psychic can be empathic could be a medium could have a number of talent skills or abilities okay but you're in this high priestess energy here okay you've come out there's no face cards out here but you have the high priestess as well as you have the temperance out here okay as well as you have the ace of swords out here the sun okay so you definitely speak some type of truth you speak some type of clarity i, I feel like you may implement this um in the work that you do as well okay so somebody's career is definitely um, getting ready to skyrocket, getting ready to boom in some type of way. As I said, some of you are already in position and have certain positions and you're working hard in your positions, okay? Um, you're getting ready to see more um, financial stability and security. Others of you, um, this may be a new position title or role coming towards you here, okay? So let's see what other messages Spirit have for you all. Please like, share, and subscribe. That is your free way of showing your support to the channel. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. Okay. Spirit, what other messages? So we have here choosing your path. Then I tell you, Spirit is saying that you have many different options to choose from. All is possible, this says here, okay? So all things are possible, honey, through the most high who strengthens you. You could be choosing what path or direction that you would like to go in, okay? Okay. 
some of you all um, could be exploring your roots in some type of way. So we have, okay, that's two different cards. We have here um, Gates of Triumph here. So this talks about success expands in your life here, okay? So Spirit is telling you that success is going to expand in your life, which is why you have the Six of Wands here, okay? As well as, well as the Nine of Coins, okay? So you're having some type of triumph and success, okay? Um, victories, accomplishments, and so forth, okay? Many of you may be interested in expanding your horizons in some type of way. <laughs> I see journey by the moonlight here. This says believe in magic. Something mystical, something magical is happening in your life. You could have um, natural uh, mystical, magical manifestation type of powers within you as well. Spirit, please give us one more message for this reading. One more message. Okay, so we have finding sanctuary here, okay? So this is opening your um opening to your spiritual source here, okay? Um some of you I feel like could be on your divine life purpose or in your divine life purpose. You're striving towards your um your destiny okay you could have answered the call okay you could have a calling on your life but you're finding some type of sanctuary okay um one sanctuary is one happy place peaceful place um belonging uh type of space okay um you're opening to your spiritual source okay this could also be helping you and it's some type of work that you do Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Mystic Healer here. So whomever you are, you have some type of healing capabilities, okay? Um, this is healing energy flows through you, okay? So I feel like you have the, the power, the ability uh, to, to help and to heal others in some way, shape, form, or fashion. This is one of your the gifts that you have been blessed with, okay? Okay, guys, so let's get a few more messages of clarification. And then we're going to wrap up this mini reading, guys. I was tired today. I had other stuff to do. My daughter got to do some testing for school tomorrow. So uh, I just, I had to do some stuff, honey. I had to do her hair. Well, I had to get some rest, first of all. Um, help her with her schoolwork, do her hair, get things ready, set, go for tomorrow. Look at that destiny, spiritual um, strength here, okay? So you are definitely, this is definitely a part of your destiny. Whatever you're doing or about to do is a part of your destiny, spirit is saying here, okay? Yeah, and you are in tune to your spiritual strength, okay? Something pertaining to your spiritual strength, has something to do with the work that you do. Yeah, third eye chakra here. Your third eye is open, okay? You're able to discern the truth for people as well. Spirit is saying, with the truth card being here, that goes hand in hand with this uh, ace of blades here, okay? I also see the balancing scales here on this um, um truth card here perhaps you are able to bring justice um to others in some type of way here i see solitude okay so whomever you are you could be an introvert you could spend a lot of your time to yourself by yourself or you either work alone with whatever it is that you do bottom of the deck we have spiritual uh, excuse me material and spiritual prosperity that is coming in for you okay and this slid over as well so this says accelerated motion here okay so you're shining very brightly like this shooting star right here okay um other people can see your light okay um whomever you are you are definitely going places okay so let's see um what other messages spirit have for you then i'm we're going to um 
get you all some closing messages from your archangel. You have nurture and compassion within you for others, okay? Perhaps this is a way that you help or heal or assist others. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages. So we have present this is present energy for some of you all this is abundance as well as gratitude okay so remember to have gratitude remember to have thanks and appreciation for what you have um as well as what has yet to come to you okay but in the, your present energy you are abundant here okay once again we get another card that says truth and expression you you speak something Something with your expression, something that you, you say, something that is implemented into your work. You speak some type of truth through your, the, your expressions, okay? Or communications. In the past, you all, you know, dealt with lack and suffering in some type of way, okay? But you all are definitely moving on. Look at that. You have another third eye card here. You have the third eye chakra card come out here. Now you have third eye in clarity. So whomever you are, your third eye is open, okay? Um, you have like clarity on things. Are you able to provide truth and clarity for others um, by way of telling persons the truth, okay? Yeah. You're in your north node. This is cosmic energy here, okay? You are in your purpose, whomever you are. You're in your life purpose. Spirit is saying. Okay? So, bottom of the deck, we have um, alchemy and ancestor guides. So, you could have your ancestors or your spirit guides, okay? Could definitely be helping you, assisting you, okay? Okay, guys, so let's see what else is going on here. Spirit, what other messages do we need to know as it relates to this situation? What other messages? I see gifts here, okay? You could have some type of a gift, okay? Or perhaps somebody may want to gift you with something here. This would tie into that, that six of coins energy. Okay, that um, gift of generosity, that giving and receiving here. Okay, but this could also be some type of gift that you have within you. Spirit, what else is going on here? So we have good news here, okay? So you all could be coming into some type of good news, some type of messages, news, information, or communication could be coming to you. This is encouragement, miracles, as well as surprises, okay? So this gift that is coming to you, this could be some type of good news. Somebody may be gifting you with something here, okay? Um, be, be careful to, you know, keep yourself balanced. Some of you may uh, become overloaded, or overworked in some type of way here, okay? Um, especially if you try to take on too much at one time here, okay? But some of you all may just get very busy or something with, with, with work that you do, okay? But we have triumph here, okay? So this talks about success, victory, as well as achievements here, okay? This person is also holding up some type of... Um, um, like a trophy or something here um, it's like some type of golden cup type of thing here okay some of you could receive some type of medals or honors or rewards or trophies or accolades or, or something here but if it's not that you're definitely coming into some type of success victory as well as achievements here okay I feel like this uh, this is sitting here with truth there's something you brought like truth and clarity to okay and perhaps um, somebody could be rewarded for something here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so give us one more card here. You're very caring, whoever you are. You're very caring for yourself, for your children, as well as other people. So we have reservation here. So this talks about uh, desires, your uh, your desires, your worth, as well as extravagance maybe coming into you um, due to uh, abundance you may be receiving. Okay. Be careful of individuals trying to like persuade you, bribe you, or tempt you in some type of way. Somebody may want to pay you some money to I don't know. Somebody wants to bribe you or, or persuade you or tempt you with something here, okay? Be careful of that, okay? But we do have luck at the bottom of the deck here, okay? This says jackpot, fortune, reward here, okay? So there's definitely um, a large amount of abundance that is coming in for you. Here my messages, guys, and we're going to get to our closing angel messages. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages as it relates to this reading. So some type of change is definitely coming in for you. I definitely see you working very hard as well. Be very careful of false persons trying to come your way. Some of you are definitely coming into some type of high honor. High honor, great fortune for your hard work. Some of you could be receiving some type of high honor. Okay, um, as well as a large amount of abundance, some type of great fortune for some type of hard work that you put in on something. Something may have something to do with the death of somebody's child. And you could receive some type of unexpected income for this here. Somebody, um, hmm. either you have helped or assisted someone in um, maybe finding some type of truth or clarity or something. Spirit, what is this hard work about? This high honor, great fortune, toll and labor. What else is going on here? Maybe that's the work that you do. Okay? Especially if you do anything, if you like, um, if you do anything where say you work for law enforcement or you work for the government or you work for particular agencies or even if you're something like a um, psychic investigator or um, anything like that where you help or you assist or you heal other people. Okay? This could this could fall along the lines of a multitude of different professions for different people. Of course, obviously, everybody's not going to be in the same profession. Okay, you could definitely help people in in more ways than one. Okay. what else is going on here? So yeah, this is this is your occupation. Something that you do for work. I definitely feels like provide some type of service to others okay because right after and you put in a lot of hard work here we have total labor and we have occupation here okay and before that is um, a high honor great fortune here okay so you're coming into some type of high honor and great fortune for your hard work um, within your occupation your profession the work that you do here okay Somebody is literally going from racks to riches. I, I, people say that so much. <laughs> um, I'm just different. I try not to use like the same verbiage as other people, but sometimes it's just as matter of fact as 
that uh, and something that you've probably heard before or something like that or whatever but somebody is literally going from being like a regular everyday average jane average joe type of person to being a privileged lady or a privileged man whomever you are that is aligning with this reading okay that's what's going on here guys So let's get you all some closing messages from the Archangels, okay? We're going to get some messages from your Archangels, and then we're going to get a couple messages from your, um, your Guardian Angels, okay? And see what they have to say. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages to close out this reading. Some of you have taken some type of leap of faith. Okay. You could have also manifested something here. So we have here the magician here, okay? This comes um this is with the energy of Archangel Razel. Spirit is saying that you can manifest the life that you want. What you need will magically appear successful beginnings here, okay? So many of you all are having some successful beginnings, Spirit is saying, okay? So we have the Six of Michael here. This is just like that Six of Swords energy here. So Spirit is saying, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. Relocation or travel, okay? Give us one more, please, Spirit. One more message for the collective. You can get... um. Spirit is saying that you will get more insights about certain things from quiet meditation. We have new beginnings here, okay? So this comes from Archangel Dramil. Um, this is starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past here, okay? So many of you all are stepping into a brand new beginning, okay? Some of you all, I feel like, are already, you know, um, in this energy, Um striving towards fulfilling your destiny you're already in your life purpose or whatever others are of you are um striving towards uh, your life purpose and fulfilling your destiny okay and you're well on your way to being there okay for those of you um who is resonating with this reading here okay but someone i feel like you are already making some major moves like doing some very hard work okay and it really doesn't matter like the successful level you're on of course um you know most people want to be you know to succeed and um prosperous and uh and different things like that or what have you okay but um you don't give up your hard work is going to pay off at some point in time here okay so we have the seven of raphael here at the bottom of the deck spirit is saying that it's time to make a decision be clear on what you want and take action okay some of you all there could be a need for a uh, detoxification some of you all uh may need to detoxify okay if you drink a lot if you um say get high or anything like that smoke marijuana you may you know might want to um detox in some type of way okay just to cleanse and clear your own system okay sure what else what other messages So those are your um, Archangel messages, guys. We're going to get you some messages from your Guardian Angels and see what closing messages they have for you all. So we have here, see only love here, okay? It says, look past the, the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Um, your resolute focus upon the love that underlies Every situation brings about healing in undreamt of ways here, okay? So I feel like you are love, okay? I feel like you pour love into 
everything, everyone around you, okay? Some of you all could be getting married. Uh, some of you all may already be in a relationship. It's definitely going to lead to a marriage. Others of you all um, could be, you know, maybe meeting the one along the way. So we have, um, I see trustworthy guidance. I also see um, joy here. So something is definitely, you could be giving trustworthy guidance to others or receiving trustworthy guidance, okay? You definitely could be getting this trustworthy guidance from your spirit guides, your archangels, your guardian angels, or even your ancestors or the most high, okay? But something is going to bring you joy, happiness, peace, okay? We have focus on service here, okay? So um, this says your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream um, continuously feeds your, ev er, your everything you need. Okay, put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. Okay, so something that you do, I'm telling you, you provide some type of service for whatever it is that you do. You're focused on service. Whatever service you provide, you do so with love. Okay, yeah, bottom of the deck, we have creative projects. It's so interesting. I've never even seen this card in this deck here. Okay, so this creative project card says your soul um, longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to um, infuse artistry and creativity into your life creative expressions makes you feel alive and excited um and reignites passion toward your life here okay so many of you all you may be working on a creative project perhaps a creative project that you have already uh, worked on or already done um you're seeing some type of harvest uh for that Okay, but there's definitely joy that is coming in for you. Okay, so that's what's going on here, guys. Seems it since it seems that um, the work that you do, your career, your occupation, um, is the main focus. Let's get you some life purpose cards, especially with destiny being out here, occupation being out here, the eight of pentacles being out here. So we have author here, okay? Many of you all could like to write. Perhaps you've already written poems or books or you're planning to or you desire to. Spirit is saying you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it, okay? So some of you all, you may already write, okay? Um, perhaps you've been writing for a long time, but you don't have anything published or anything yet or what have you. But whomever you are, you're definitely, yeah, look, you're definitely a writer, writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write here, okay? So something is significant to you writing here, okay? It doesn't mean that you solely only have to do this. It doesn't mean, you know, you you could be um, multi-talented, okay? But I definitely feel like you're destined to be an author. You're de destined to do some type of writing, teaching um, for some of you all. Okay. As well as you are to support or, or, you know, maybe give some type of healing or support to others here. Okay. But spirit is also seeing that your life purpose fully supports you. Okay. Remember, don't forget the seven of cups here. You have options. Okay. Some of you all may have multiple talent skills and abilities you literally could go in any direction okay this is like say for instance this is like somebody who has a passion for singing and they're a phenomenal writer and they are um, a great illustrator and that you know what i'm saying so this is somebody who can draw who can write who can sing <laughs> you know what i'm saying um or this person could even be uh, a very talented dancer just say just think of as many professions that you can think of say that same person with all of those skills and abilities is also a awesome chef or cook or something you know what i'm saying so it's like you could go in any direction that you want to i'm not sure of all your talent skills and abilities but i'm just using that as an example okay 
I see creative expression. Some of you could definitely be stepping into a position of leadership. But we have freedom here at the bottom of the deck. So Spirit is saying that you are free to do what you choose. I told you, you have many different choices, options, decisions um, that you can choose from. Okay, so it's up to you what makes you happy, what fulfills you, what brings you joy, what you really want to do here. Okay. Whoever you are, I feel like whatever you speak, whatever you do, whatever you write, however you help or heal others, you do so in truth. You have truth here like several times. This card says truth. This card says truth and expression. This card says third eye and clarity. You have two third eye cards here. Oh, you also have the Ace of Swords, which speaks of truth and clarity, as well as victories here, okay? So this is somebody's energy, honey, okay? So I do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with or pertaining to a situation that you may know that someone else is dealing with, okay? Please like, share, and subscribe. As I said, guys, that is your free way of showing your support to the channel. It is greatly, greatly appreciated, okay? For any person who is interested in contacting me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. Look at that. Unleash your creativity. Whoever you are, I'm telling you, you're very creative in some type of way. We also have alchemy here, okay? You could even be an alchemist, okay? In some type of way. Okay, beware of the wild and temptations, though, okay? Yeah. Um, for those of you who would like to donate, um... You can do so through Super Sticker, Super Thanks. You can do so through Cash App, which is Dollar Sign Tip Diamond 36. You can also do so through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add 36 diamond, or Zale, which is tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com, or tiffanyziggler60 at gmail.com. All of that information, guys, I know is a lot to take in. It can all be found in the description box below, um, including um, information that you may need from me um, pertaining readings or what um what have you okay so as always guys go take care of yourself take care of each other but most of all take care of your babies honey remember this is a wicked wicked world that we live in there is wickedness in high places and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you so y'all watch your surroundings watch the company you keep watch the comp the, the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well and considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you backstab you try to hurt you or harm you honey keep you some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste i am that i am created in the image of God.